more historic that's right allosaurus shepherd's pretty pretty decent, right <clears throat> this card seems ridiculous i don't know if it's as good in historic or not but Hmm. 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 Obviously, four of this guy. Nope. Don't care about any of these. Elves is ridiculous, huh, Matthew? Dwinnin's elite, obviously, very good. It's been great watching you brew and play constructed. I'll get back to YouTube now. Have a lovely, relevant time of day. Oh, the squirrel nest. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate your support. Whether on YouTube or on here. Twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. So that's pretty cool. Apparently we just had a bump from somebody. I don't see it in the chat, though, but here we are. Elvish Clan Call has got to be good enough, right? Wait. Oh, because I need two more. I was like, breakfast time in the city. Ringling. Hear them. Buddy, you know we're doing out. I think I only have seven mythics. That's really... That's rough because I think Crater has got to be like three of them, right? Guys, I don't actually know if there's a... What the, what the, like, the best elf build will be. We're just building this as we go with our own... I don't even know what this card is. I don't even know if I've seen this before. It's just Land War Elf that costs one more. I wish there were a way I could give you Mythic Sun Arena. Oh man, me too, buddy. Me too. It sucks because the only way for me to get them is literally to spend lots and lots of money. Like to spend like a hundred bucks on, you know, 80 packs or whatever. Um, because there's no way to like just buy wild cards. So like if you need Mythics, that's all you can do really. Or you could just keep playing until you don't have them. Or until you have them, rather. Imperius Perfect seems really good, right? Wait, Arena. I think Badger's having a... Can we do that? What's he saying right now? What's he saying right now? He has good days and bad. Land of War Visionary is good. I don't know if it's good enough when we have Arch Druid, Imperius Perfect... If we're doing elves, I think we need Crater Hoof. Yeah, it's Crater Hoof. Read up. Oh, okay, hold on. Um, are we making elves in Historic? Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. We're trying to. I mean, I, I like, I've been told that elves is really good in Historic. I personally have not seen a list or played a list. So you guys can be like... Well, this deck is it as good as the tier one deck and I'll just be like that's fine I accept that I understand because we're building this from scratch and having a good time with the process you know what I mean I feel like only having one one drop in the elf deck is weird but also I don't know what I would expect is Nykthos? yeah it is right it's gotta be it's not that's weird I guess it doesn't have to be, right? <laughs> there's no there's no obvious there's no real reason why it would be. Um hmm. I mean Castle Garenbreak seems fine, right? It gives you a, a one mana discount on Crater Hoof. Ah, oh, company. I mean this is this is 59 cards right here. Is this even fast enough? Like, is there any other, like, Land of War Elf creature? There's only, like, the 1-1 one, one drop, right? Like, I'm not going crazy, right? Yeah, it's just Land of War Elves that's legal in this format. As as far as one drop, like, tappers go, right? No, there's no Elvish Mystic. That'd be Mish Mystic. There's no Elvish Mystic here. That would be great if there were. Shepherd. 
Oh, uh, I don't think Shepard's that great just because they're not being like I don't think there's a lot of there's there's not many counter spells in the format. Um oh my gosh, sneeze. <coughs> and you know, as such, like the six man ability is great, but I think it's just better to have like a bunch of fat lords. I also have no idea. Um, I have no idea. Before you spend your wild cards, I think you only need one hoof. Is that true? I mean, that could definitely be real. What's our best way to find it, though? Like, we can't Coco into it. Um, Paradise Druid, it's, it's alright. I guess Fierce Empath is true. It is also an elf, which is fascinating. What was the mana? Let's see, we got... Uh, nothing, nothing super exciting, actually, unfortunately. Welcome to Marwyn? I don't... I don't get the reference. I mean, Marwyn's... I was actually looking at Marwyn. Marwyn seems good. But, like, how many and what are we cutting for it? Because, like, we're already, like, we already have a lot of things going on. <laughs> Welcome to Marvin was a Steve Carell movie. Oh, boy. Steve Carell has such a range of, like, bangers and not bangers. Mm. Growing rights is not good. Okay, I'll put one Marwin in for a growing rights. Yeah, I can get behind that. It, I mean, we hit it with Prater with uh, Collective Company. I mean, we keep playing castles. Like we were, we played like three mono mono colored decks in historic so far. So that's pretty cool. Check out the story I just sent in group chat. Rob, is it possible that you post these photos that are not? I don't even know what the second photo is, dude. <laughs> Can you post it when it's not like 50 pixels by 50 pixels, Robert? Oh, God, you want to run Shaman? Shaman just messes up the mantle so much. Is Shaman even in? No, there's no Shaman in, in Historic. The Shaman of the pack. Okay, so let's try it like this. Uh, I don't even know what to put in the sideboard. Like, return to nature? Is that good? I don't know. Three of these things? What's sideboardable in this? I don't even know what green cards are sideboard. You should, oh, should you definitely play the Shepherd's main deck? Really? Really? I also think Beast Whisper is good. Um, again, we only got so much room. Like, do we want Paradise Druid instead of, like, Elvish Arch Druid? That doesn't, that doesn't seem good at all. Like, Elvish Clan Caller, maybe? I think Shepard's fine as a card, but, again... Oh, Heroes Intervention seems good. Or Heroic. Yeah, you're right. Heroic Intervention. That seems great. Um, Graph Digger's Cage. <sighs> my biggest issue is that, like, that's four out of seven of my Mythics.
What about Nullhide Ferox? <laughs> I wonder if Nullhide Ferox is good, dude. You're gonna want card draw? Like, we already have Collective Company, Elvish Visionary, like... Uh, yeah, we would definitely run four Elvish Mystic if they were legal. I could see Questing Beast as just like a big fat idiot for the sideboard. Alright, we've got three more sideboard slots to try out. Yeah, I feel like this is the bottleneck. The the four one drops is the bottleneck for sure. There's so much discard in the format that I was hoping that there was like some decent kind of like like a better obstinate Bayloth, you know? <laughs> like Oh, Rex Sage seems great. Oh, we have Return to Nature. I like Return to Nature a lot, but like the reason I like the reason I like Return of Nature is because it gets sort of graveyard cards so you can rip a Euro or a Croc side of the graveyard. Uh, Ooze actually seems decent, sure. Let's play two Ooze and two Cages. Uh, 15 rares? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what we have, we do have a deck here. Arch Druids for Beach, Whis Beach Whispers? I would, I'd rather cut like one Arch Druid, one Clan Caller for like two Beast Whispers. I can see that. Whoa, not Druid of the Horns, buddy. Sorry. That art is terrifying. I don't think you ever cut, I don't think you ever cut Collected Company, just four is too good. I don't think we got Cycle Lands. Collector Company is a four of, yes. For some reason, whoever designed the MTG or updated the MTG UI, um, they, they decided that using white would be a good idea so that you can't actually see if you have four cards here or not. I mean, this is why this is why I put strokes on a lot of things in Photoshop, where it's just like, okay, then you have a little, well, it's like it's white text with a with a thin black border around it, and then you can actually see these things. But it's weird to not have that in here. <laughs> um, I like Imperius Perfect as our. Nope, that just removed it from the deck. Okay, so we gotta go here, put another one, and let's try this out. Let's call it Dadger Elves. We'll see. We'll see. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god, CTB, thank you, buddy. We almost Whew, we dodged a bullet there. Yeah, the, not only do I love these Avon lands, but I also kick myself daily for having missed the Unhinged lands. And I, I don't know when they're going to be available again, if ever, so. 
Let's do it. Turn that land into a spell. The problem is that, like, we have a lot of important cards to cast on turns like 1, 2, and 3. So I just don't want to muck up our mana base with, like, too many non-forests. I got some unhinged. Dude, I, I love some unhinged lands. I mean, we can't actually... We can't mulligan until we hit a, an Elvish Mystic. That's just silly. So... My cube uses sad Amonkhet full art lands. My cube uses like Zendikar full arts. I would love to upgrade to the unhinged ones from uh, Double Masters because they're actually relatively cheap right now. Man, a land there would have been great because then we can just play 5 4. What are the odds they have ways to destroy our. Our gentleman. They missed a second land drop. That's interesting. counter this or you'll let something resolve Two, three, four. Could have made six and played two lords. That would have been better. No, no, Al we didn't put Alice or Shepherd because, again, mythics are a, 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 a constraint here. Yep, to the surprise of no one. Yeah, it's mythic, all right. Oh, it's mythic, all right. Cool. We're doing it. All right, let's see if we have a third Wrath of God, my dudes. Super cool. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. My problem with Two Fierce Empath is that we have only one Crater Hoof, so the second one's always dead. I don't know how relevant that is. This guy. Um, take out the Marwin. Take out Clan Caller. Bring in. This guy. I kind of like Rex Age here.
Yikes. Okay. Well, 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 look who we have here. Who do we have here? Who is it, Hodge Gulashi? We're all very curious. <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my actions. What is that from? Beer Man Man, what was your first guess? This has got to be the play, right? Four, how does that end? 10, 11, 12, 13. What? Why would you do that? What the fuck? Why would you tap a creature? Oh, do they have... Hmm. I see. Settle wreckage? Do they board in a settle wreckage? Why would you tap this? Because <laughs> it's exactly four? But then it's even... Oh my god. Cool. Not bad, all things considered. Make them have it. They will, but we're gonna make them. <laughs> they will. Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, they didn't have it. I preemptively luckied, and they didn't have it. Oh, boy. I still can't get over that. The, the freaking Elvish clan, the Elvish archer are tapping for the freaking questing beast. Just wild. Can you play Lucky Universe? Yeah, but it's, uh, it's a Beatles song if you play it backwards, so. That old elf wanted nothing to do with combat. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. I'm out. Did they just concede? I don't understand. Really? They're like six Wrath the Dot deck. They couldn't deal with some elves? It was a Gadwick. 
Okay, so what have we seen? I want to take out one fierce empath. I feel like if they're not wrathing the board, we're actually. I feel like we're actually pretty decent. Is that crazy? Do you want a third Beast Wispy? Main deck of Heroic? You're a, you're a madman. Degenerate Elf deck. <laughs> my second sun deck is... Second sun's my only win condition. I don't know what to do if I can't draw my second sun. Second sun is a sun is a sailor. The San Francisco treat. What about one Gilded Goose? Is that sacrilege because it's not an elf? I'm just looking up elf again, guys. I'm sorry. I just want to see if I missed anything. I don't think I did. Maybe like one Paradise Druid. I actually don't hate that. Look how bad Leaf Gilder looks next to Paradise Druid. It's like... Okay, you're both two ones for two. You tap for any color. You tap for just green. You have hexproof. I think two triangle tickets might be good. I know we don't want to tap lands. Twenty-four lands. Ah, uh, you know what? Sometimes Josh, you come in here and you're like, "I got a good idea today," and then I'm like, "You do," and then we go have lunch. And that's that's our day. No, there's no Shaman of the Pack. You guys are maniacs. You guys just name whatever cards you want to be in the format, and you think they're in the format all of a sudden. It's unbelievable. Where'd the Tranquil Ticket go? Is there no Thicket? Is it not? There's no Thicket, right? Well, there is. It was in... Oh, wow. Dude, Historic is such a fucking weird format. It's like, hey, this set, this set, this set, this set, and this set is legal. Only this set, uh, it isn't all legal. Only some of the cards that we specifically reprinted are legal. Also, these 36 random cards that we've randomly chosen are legal as well. So, uh, have fun. Crater Hoof is in the format, right? It's literally in the deck. Come on, Ziggs, get it together. Uh, one, two. Okay. These are our updates. I just like the one uh, Paradise Druid on two because it does ramp us into our four drops, which are kind of our engines, which is like Beast Whisper and um, Collected Company. Here are the ones we could pay to pay to, to we could pay the developer to add to the game. Why no natural order? You know, I kind of just wanted to. I, I don't. I like to challenge myself sometimes, so I left natural order out, and I'm just like, maybe next time. Did we put glimpse of nature in? Hey, oh, so wow, you guys are like natural order, oath of druids, glimpse of nature. Fantastic. I'll keep it. It's so sad because I see an elf deck with no one drop, and I'm just like, well. I don't know what to do. But then you gotta realize that, like, we have four one drops, so the odds of us hitting a one drop is, like, not high. I do like Steel Leaf into Imperius Perfect. What? Wow, you scumbag McGee. You got it. Wow, censored my Elvish Visionary. I mean, what do you take here? Yep, that's a good one. That's what I would have taken as well. I 
No one drop causes a one drop of tear from my eye. <laughs> I'm like watching it unfold and I'm like, what's he gonna say? What could he possibly be trying to say here? I kind of want a collected company, but I also kind of just want to arch druid, keep up, make a guy. I think this is better because next turn I think we have a, a lot more things happening. I mean, we have so much mana next turn for for collect for collected company that I'm not really. Hmm. Have you ever been to the Castle Garenbrig? Wow. That was that was terrible. That was also not great. <laughs> Oh dear jeez, that was so bad, dude. <laughs> Two collected companies, and now they now they wipe the board. So Yep. Cool. What just happened? I I spent eight mana for an Elvish Mystic. Uh and a Steel Leaf Champion. Well, that's okay, I got a 2-2. Two -two. It's okay. It's alright. Two, 2 They can't possibly deal with it. They actually can't deal with it. This guy's just gonna kill the Nicol Bolas. This guy's the, the, the hero we need. Go to the next game. Elite is free with Archdruid on board? Oh, because it's because it adds the mana that you Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh I think we're just taking out Crater Hoof and oh god, it's so good though. And Empath. And Clan Caller, I think, is the weakest link in terms of and I want to bring in heroic. And questy. Does Hour of Devastation say it can't be printed? Uh, all creatures lose indestructible until end of turn. Well, that sucks. Yeah, that might not be great. This is so slow. This hand is so slow. This is a fast hand. I'm probably just gonna ship. Actually, we'll ship one elf. Cause like if they kill our turn one elf, the last thing we want to do is play a turn two elf when we have a visionary in hand. So. I mean, sometimes turn two Steel Leaf Champion just gets there. Josh, you beautiful bastard. Okay. Yeah, we're going to cycle this guy. I assume they waited because if we played a three drop Lord, that would be a little more worthy of their attention. Winmore.com. Thank you for continuing the gifted sub, man. Really appreciate it. Sure, you got it. My Elvish Visionary is dead. 
And now you're on a two turn clock. So, hope you got a languish. I don't know if that's legal in this format. Seven. Well, I'm fascinated. I don't know if the Winnings Elite's good enough. Like, it's not a great two drop if you don't have Elvish Mystic, and I'm, I think it's just better as Paradise Druid. Like, this is lethal, so they have to have, like, Vraska's Contempt. I think they're probably going to use it on Steel Age Champion. I'm just going to get in there. Commit. Okay. But I'm not the only one. So Rexage didn't do anything. Marwin's a little slow. I don't think they have a bunch of scavenging use targets. I mean, we did see commit to memory, but if they're like casting memory, I feel like it's probably not terrible for us. I mean, it might just be clan caller instead of heroic intervention. I mean, this still counters a spell, right? Like it still does counter something. It doesn't counter hour of devastation, but it still counters something. Oh, I like Ceridon a lot in the sideboard. What about two Dwinnins elites? I think that's fine. Two Dwinnins, two Herarchs. Let's do that. But I'm not the only one. I hope some other day you'll join us. Imagine there's no Michael B's. Wow, three three drops, huh? We're on the draw? I'll keep it on the draw. Another three drop. Okay, come on. You sounded just like Lennon there. That's what I was going for, buddy. I hope summer day you'll join us and the world will be as one. I'm basically John Lennon. I'm basically Julian Lennon. Has Mucha been kidnapping it? No, he has a job. He works at a job. Oh wow, I was expecting a sensor there. Was Oketra included in Amonkhet? Which one? The four drop was. Someone day will join us. This is a real gamble, guys. No gamble, no future. I'm fine with it. So what we were trying to do, we were trying to hit a lord at instant speed. But you know. Oh, I, that was a good draw. Can I have this? What about this guy? Okay. How was that mono black deck after you stopped at 6 though? Well, I wouldn't know. I stopped at 6 though. Hard to say. Yeah, that's a lot of lands here, my dudes. Well, I'm really glad Elvish Archdruid didn't tap to cast Imperius Perfect because it costs three and I have three. Thank goodness. Alright, again, this is half your life. I feel like if you had a, an hour of devastation, you would have cast the last turn, right?
Nope. Never, never, never enough. Nope. Okay. Well, but I was like, please don't do that. I'd rather, I'd rather use this in case we draw something good. Like a forest. We can cut a land too. We're definitely cutting a land. 24 lands is, has proven to be way too many. He could have just drew it. Wow. Yeah. Well, that, that does, I don't think that's, I don't think that's better. That's actually really interesting. Get in there. Memorial. Well, that's unfortunate. That's why I keep forest in hand though, I guess. Yeah, resolve it. It would be sweet if we had an answer to this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just flip next turn. I think we'll steal 10 damage to a creature plans are. Put a creature plans are from a graveyard on the battlefield. <coughs> I think that's fine. Mm, no attacks. My kingdom for a collected company. Okie dokie. Yes, flip Nickel Bolas. Get back Nickel Bolas. Oh, they just draw two cards here, which is also very, very good. Yeah, get back Nickel Bolas. Nickel Bolas the Ravage is actually one of my favorite cards, and I really like that it's in this format, but I'm going to concede here because I don't think I can deal with both. In fact, I cannot. I gotta walk my dog. I'll be our, I'll be RB. Okay, we're cutting two lands, cutting Dwinnin's Elite, adding. Gotta go over here. Adding Paradise Druids. Adding one more Beast Whisper, too. I got a dog my walk BRB. <laughs> oh boy. Pooh found an every McDonald's touch. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's. I mean, Marwyn just feels like a worse Elvish Arch Druid, right? Like, Marwyn gets a little bigger every time you play an Elf, but Elvish Arch Druid... Like, Marwyn makes all... Marwyn gets bigger if you play things after her. Elvish Arch Druid benefits the things you played before it. I, I also like four Elvish Arch Druid. Was there a card I wanted on the sideboard? What was I thinking? There was like a card I was like, oh yeah, this would be good. Um, was it against the last deck? I 
But Marvin doesn't really do the same thing as Archdruid. Like, Imperius Per... We have, already have four Imperius Perfects. We have three Elvish Clan Callers. Like, we have a lot of that effect. And Marvin's just literally just a... Like, so she makes... A, like, you play an Elf, she makes two mana. Like, it's fine. I think it's fine as a one-of because she's legendary, but... We still need one more slot. Fauna Shaman sounds better than Empath, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, the problem with Hoof, as I've noticed so far, is that this isn't a deck that's... We're not ramping a ton, so there's actually been very few situations where I can cast the Hoof. What's that dude called? Allosaurus Shepherd? Oh, it's because I don't have this on. The problem is I have six mythics left. I got Empath, I'll put in Shaman. Like, the only thing Empath can hit is um, Crater Hoof, right? <laughs> but, like, Fauna Shaman's great because we can still hit it off Collected Company and can search out, like, Allosaurus Shepherd as a one of. I, I think this is decent. I think Great Henge is good, but Great Henge, unlike Galta, doesn't take in your total power. It just takes the greatest power. So, like, if we have like a 3-3, three, three, it's still going to cost like 5 mana. Which I think is a lot. I don't know. Maybe great hen well, maybe one great henge is probably decent. That costs 9. Ugh. And we can't cast it off Garen Brig. Like you basically have to have an Elvish Arch to root out. I also like Fauna Shaman because it lets us hit our one ofs like, like we can pitch Llanowar Elves or like Paradise Druids in the late game to get like Beast Whisper or something. Let's just try it like this first. Five Mythic Rares, yeah, good grief. Right, if we can, we can go turn three Steel Leaf into turn four Great Henge for sure. Most of the time. Correct. Yeah. Co yeah. Collected company is is one of the most egregious offenders of hiding the number of uh, save hiding the number of copies. Oh yeah, that's a hand. Steel leafy boy. This guy's dead, right? Tiny bones. Tiny bones. You can have each end of your opponent discard this card and draw a card and move away. Oh, we're doing it. Well, they're doing it. Somebody's doing it. I think it's actually Druid here. If we just play Visionary, Visionary, like... Like, we're not going to be short of mana. You're going to jam some Chaos Trap? I don't... 
I always hit or miss on Chaos Draft. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I'm just like, eh. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, bro? We got a lot of redundancy in hand. I'll tell you what I'm feeling, some chaos draft. <laughs> I bet you are, buddy. I bet you are. Oh, Rankle, Master of Spankles. What are you selecting, my dude? Let's sacrifice. Each player discards. Okay. Um... I think this is better here. It's less damage, but next turn we get to at least draw a card. They have one card in hand as well. So I'm not like super... Yeah, we're gonna keep Tranquil Ticket in hand so we can discard as a Rankle. I don't wanna discard my last card here. Okay. The best thing about zombies is their adorable beauty. Yep. Each player discards a card. Sure. Well. Okay. Might as well. I think this guy's still pretty good here. They're in top deck mode. I'm okay with it. They have two different field of the runes. Ugh. Get your life together. We both draw a card. Oh, okay. Uh, five, six, seven. This has got to be correct, right? If they don't have a removal spell, then we're good. Go, boy, got him. Man, elves are OP. Badger, why don't you tell me about this elf tech sooner? I keep wanting to take out Greater Hiff and just bring in Questing Beast. And I'm like, is this just a Questing Beast deck? <laughs> Pikachu face. Uh, do they have anything that like takes advantage of their graveyard? All decks are questing me. <laughs> Where's the lie? That seems correct. Well, I don't think Rex Sage was doing very much. I feel like it's just questing beast. Like, I think this card is really good. You know what I'm bringing in? I'm playing again. Take out a Marwin, take out one Clanny Boy. I don't think they're going to be countering our stuff. I know you bored it, you know, probably because of the pump in. They get all big, but. It still seems better. Also, Fauna Shaman can go find our questing beast. That's the ticket. Oh yeah, snap keep. As soon as I see Llanowar Elf and uh, Steel Leaf Champ, I'm like, this is too good to be true. Tiny Bones again? Every time. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Oh boy. Oh, that's a that's a that's a niner. That's a big fat niner. Are you gonna? 
Murderous rider? Okay. Well, you're still taking seven. Did you do a questing beast and love struck beast or quest loves kids? <laughs> that shit's solid gold, dude. What's Tiny Bones go for? I don't even know what this card is worth. Uh, I'll sacrifice Lana or Elf. Have you played Fall Guys? Literal none. Tiny Bones is like $50? Oh my god! I'm gonna play this because I'm gonna hope to hit a land. Because I deserve it. Okay, I mean... Sure. Is there a five? Why is Tiny Bones fifty dollars? I guess because it's literally only printed in, in weird jumpstart. I guess that makes sense. Are we gonna win again? That makes me feel like we are. Um, I think we're just collected companying. I didn't have a play. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Volunteer. God, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Um, don't I have so many creatures in this deck? Oh, your bravery is adorable. Now I'm gonna hit a land. You just gotta believe in the heart of the cards, you know? I did. Should have done that first, but that's okay. I mean, we're just hoping they don't have another languish. That ain't a languish. Are we both discarding? Oh yeah, so long, Paradise Druid. No so they go to four here, aren't they? Oh, I guess they're gonna play. Yeah, big murder, big murds. It's a murderous rider. Hmm. This feels rough. They go block here. Block. Yeah. This is rough. Allosaurus Shepherd is $77. Oh, God, stuff like that makes me feel like jumpstart. Sets like jumpstart were a mistake. I also don't understand why they have, like, mythic rarities. Because, like. Um. I guess I could have played that the other way, right? We're no attacking. They have five cards in the graveyard? That's rough. I guess they have to trade their Liliana for Beast Whisper. Sure. Oh, interesting. I would have expected Beast Whisper. We're going to draw an Elvish Mystic. Trigger! 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 Now we hit a land. So they go to eight, but they have to like literally block everything, right? I think this is actually totally fine. <coughs> Who is your commander for education elf ball? <laughs> I mean, I 
feel like short of a languish here, they're probably dead. But they take two here, and they can't even cast a languish if they draw it. No. Mythics are for limited balance. <laughs> yeah, that's that is the the thing. That is what they say. That dude is majestic. This battle is going to Ooh, end a little planeswalker. Guys, I think we got another master ball for our mastery tree. Oh yeah, keep keep on going. I want this I want this harbinger. Yeah, no one cares about that though. Was there anything changeable? Or are we just like have we peaked? I feel like we're doing it. God, this crater have hasn't been cast once. I Josh, I agree with that. High level single prices are good for, for local game stores. I think that's true. But it is really weird when like um they have a card like Allosaurus Shepherd or Tiny Bones that's like fifty to seventy dollars and it's only available in Jumpstart and you're just like, well, I can't like get this card unless I spend, you know, two hundred bucks to three hundred bucks for a playset. <clears throat> but it is worth noting that not every player needs every card. So we are not entitled to magic cards. Oh, COVID made the first wave way too small and they admitted that second wave of uh, Jumpstart is supposed to be coming soon. That's good to know. <clears throat> Two Tranquil Thickets. I'm going to mulligan four, four, four drops and... Ugh, God, we have Tranquil Thickets. I'm taking it. Oh, interesting. Red-green deck. Conspiracy was just making intentionally bad decisions paper to push people to Arena where they make more money. I definitely don't think they make more money on Arena. I think it's just Paradise Druid here. Because any land lets us play these four drops, which is where we want to be. And, and no lands still lets us play Tranquil Thicket into Steel Leaf Champion, so. Yeah, Hodgkalashi, I think no one considers that. It's like, if they want to end paper, they just end paper. Okay. Uh, giving this guy haste is actually a thing. That is uh, a thing. I really just, I'm hoping that I jump block with this guy. There's no, there's no point in playing Steel League Champion here because then we're just taking another seven plus whatever, <clears throat> whatever they come at us with. But at least now we can block with Visionary, so. Well, that's that's pretty good. This deck is fantastic. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> 
I promise you that per cost. Well, as long as you're promising me. I, on a per pack basis, arena is more profitable, but that doesn't mean they sell more arena. Like, it's a, it's like if I can sell like rocks for five thousand dollars, but I only have two rocks. Like, <laughs> there's a limit, right? Like, I mean, there's not more. There's there's like not more arena players by a by an insane margin than there are paper players. So just because arena is more profitable, uh, per pack or you know whatever whatever you want to call it, doesn't mean they sell more or make more money off of arena. <clears throat> uh, no attacks. I don't know how we win this game. Well, I think Wizards is trying their best to push people to Arena, but I don't think it's ever going to go away completely. Like, the <clears throat> the paper aspect of Magic is a feature, not a bug. It's not like, well, they still happen to be playing paper. Like, there's an enjoyable component to it, you know? I kind of feel like we're dead here. This is a, This deck is fantastic, and I'm loving it. I mean, my hope is just to collect a, com collect a company and, and and hit a banger. <laughs> I also think it would be way, way soon. I don't think it would be. Like, I think they understand that what they have. Like, it's a matter of knowing what you have. Like, there's kitchen table players of Magic that are just never going to play Arena. Like, it's just, that's how it works. I mean, it's wild to, to... I think it's I think it's pretty wild to, like, assume otherwise. That's crazy. I mean, it's a weird... It's It seems like a, almost a weird, really weird business model to, like, assume... Like, to stop... Like, to pull packs out of Walmart and Target and have people, like... Just to lose that business model. Like, there's so many people that just play around the kitchen table. Most of my Commander Player plays absolutely... That's true, but, like, people are buying... Like, those are the, also the guys. Like, the, the casual players who don't play arena are the same dudes that'll walk into target and buy three packs. Like, it's just the, like, it's a completely different demographic that exists and supports wizards. And like to get rid of that is like, just, I don't see why they would do that. I don't know how to deal with these fucking dinosaurs, man. I agree, it would make no sense to pull your revenue stream into Arena. I agree with that completely. Like, it's just... It's a matter of, like... <clears throat> A game like a game like League of Legends by Riot, right? Like that's a game all of your players are digital. You cannot get into League of Legends physically without like a, a digital component. In order to play League of Legends, you have to have a computer and you've always had a computer throughout the duration of a game like League of Legends, right? That that game has solely existed in a digital sphere. Magic has had two very very distinct arenas like you know arenas so to speak paper and and digital right and so like there are certain paper magic players who are just never going to play digital like if there's just you know they're they're the you know 40 year old dads that just don't you know that play with their kids or like you know whoever like it's just there's no incentive i don't see an incentive for wizards to to alienate one entire section of the player base that is just never gonna like play digitally I mean, it streamlines the re the revenue stream, right? But like, that also that also assumes that they're gonna make up the losses through arena, which I just don't think that's true. <clears throat> I 
I agree with you completely. Use, use paper as a funnel to get those casual players to Arena. I agree with you completely. Could make an argument for our archer right here. Four three, huh? I'll take it. <sighs> Josh, I agree with you about the Graft Digger's Cage slash uh, scavenging use issue. I think we should have more scavenging uses. I would just be playing with the same already printed paper cards for the rest of forever to avoid it. Really? That's so interesting because like, because you're watching an MTG stream. MTG Nerd Girl, what's up? Good seeing you, buddy. Uh, yep, that's pretty good. Dude, this is so many dinosaurs. Like, why are we, why are we not playing this sweet dinosaur deck? Oh my god, both of these dudes killed their... <laughs> I mean, was this all part of the plan, like, just so they can cast Galta? Galta doesn't get haste, right? I mean, maybe this was just fine. Maybe that's just, like... Oh my god, how do we whiff so frequently, dude? Um, so we take 12. What do they take? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we play... Oh, yeah, they're... Oh, well, they, they do have this... They do have this Galta that guy blocks, I guess. So that's... That's unfortunate. Man, magic's hard, dude. Plus, you're a very entertaining streamer. I appreciate that. Thank you. I don't know what my creature count is, but I feel like it's high. Our only spells are, like, Collected Company. Literally, only Collected Company, I think. <sighs> Boy. If they didn't have this, we'd just deal 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 with, uh... Any of these dudes. And Galta having Trample, that's it's actually pretty good. I don't know if you guys knew that, but it's actually it's pretty good. Good grief, man. Good grief. Dinosaurs be OP. Do you guys know that? Dinosaurs is a top tier archetype in historic what do we got here hold on so five we could just count i guess i don't have to count 34 34 creatures in the deck so 22 lands four collected company that's 26 cards every other card is a creature like we've hit like <laughs> that's insane dude Oh, sure, so you take four out, right. Yeah, because, right, so 30, yeah, it's still, I think I think 30 is still incredibly high for a collected company. I don't know. All right, let's take out cages. I'll just put in four scavenging use. I think it's good. I mean, it's probably just a fluke, right? Like, what are you going to do? Dude, I'd be happy hitting two creatures. I don't even need to hit four. Why do I have Material Girl stuck in my head? Is there a reason? Is there like a... Hmm. That's alright with me. Alright. Um, 
We're on the draw. I'll keep it. Elvish Mystic is great. Land is great. Watery Grave into Ornithopter, huh? Fascinating. Maybe Clan Caller is not good enough? Is Clan Caller not good enough? I don't know. What is even happening? Scarab God and Gate to the Afterlife. I see what's happening now. You want a 4-4 Flyer. You want a 4-4 Trample Pro Multicolor. I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm just gonna play Paradise Druid because I didn't have a land, so. Health Collector is an elf, yes. They have two cards. Actually, this is interesting. This costs three, so you can... Six or more creatures. They have, like... I think it's just this. Yeah, like the, right, that's what I was thinking with Pell Collector, like, everything has two powers, so it's just coming into play, like, as nothing super exciting. And if you have, like, an Elvish Arch Druid out, like, it's already a 2-2, two -two, so it, it might not even evolve at that point. Okay. One card in your graveyard. I accept. Okay, so this is, like, this is actually pretty decent now. I think we're in good shape here. We have... One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We can play this for four. Add three. Don't use this. Hmm. Or we can go one, two, three, four, like two drop, two drop. But then it only leaves us with four, so we're just kind of like wasting it anyway. I guess we can go Beast Whisper after that. But then we miss two cards. And I think it's probably this. Because this next turn, actually, <clears throat> we can make a guy for one, and then it just, we break even because of the Arch Druid, so. Okay, they hit one creature. Fantastic. That is great. Oh, okay. Well, they have... Okay, so this will put them up to four creatures at most. And they need six or more for this. Definitely bringing in all four scavenging uses. Yep, they discarded two. Ugh. Okay. Okay. See, these just actually net us. These are just free for the most part. Katie, my love, how are you, my dear? See how excited I got? That was wild. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Nine mana. Woof. Thank you. This is what living the dream is like. Urk, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. We are basically cycling on our elves, except by when we cycle them, we put a 3 3 into play. So that's pretty cool. Um. This is a lot of clan callers. Wow. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Add a green. Activate you. I feel like even if they have... Even if they have God Pharaoh's gift, like, it don't matter right now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six... Okay. <laughs> All right. See you later. I keep taking out the shepherd. I just don't think it's good. Like it's too exp like the six mana is a lot. Like I don't even get to activate clan caller. You know, I keep taking out the Marwin as well. 
I just don't feel like they're the most efficient options. I think Rex Sage and Scavenging Ooze are probably great here. Clan Caller. Take out Fauna Shaman. Actually, Fauna Shaman's probably not terrible if we are bringing in Scavenging Ooze and Rex Sage. <clears throat> yeah, I think I can think Shepherd could be sideward. It just gives us more free spots in the main. Take out one of each of these. We still need one more thing to cut. I might just be hoof. I don't know if we need the hoof. Of course I want the hoof, but do we need the hoof? That seems good. Let's do that. I mean, Rex Age kills Ornithopter, it kills Stone Coil Serpent, it kills Godfarrow's Gift. Is the Green Excellent Cradle Enchantment too over the Oh, we tried it earlier. Or we like we considered it. I don't think it's I don't think it's great. You know what's great? Scavenging is great. Do you need the thickets? I mean the thickets have definitely helped. Like we just don't want to hit that many lands. And being able to cycle them is, is great. Having Rex Age in hand right now is super nice. Yeah, like, because right now, three forests is probably fine, so... Or, or next turn, we can just go Rex Sage and Thicket. Like, it's fine. Too few creatures, yeah. 30, 34 is my limit. Uh, choose blockers. Nah, I'm good. Hmm... That's alright with me. Alright. I'm not gonna attack here. I wanna keep up both thicket and second scavenging use activation. Oh yeah, the Dewey Cycling deck where all of your cards had cycling. Yeah. I see your October rent is nearly due. That's not true, right? <laughs> That's... I think we're a bit off, buddy. There's still time. That's still time. Badger, this is one of the first times you've asked me to do elves, and I actually feel like the elves deck is really, like, reasonable. Hmm. <laughs> don't, guys, don't te don't test him. That sounds like one. Just <laughs> like, just like, how can I top my thousandth gifted sub today? God, no, don't. I'm just trying to eat this, man. Just let me eat your stupid stone cold serpent. Oh, what up, Phil? I'm just like, it's so ridiculous because like. Badger just being in chat threatening to like donate stuff or like gift subs. It's just it actually puts me on edge because I'm like, oh my god, I'm not gonna, I'm like, I'm gonna be super awkward, and not gonna know how to respond. It's really hard to like to respond appropriately, like generosity of that level, because it's like, 
Nope, don't want to do that. Cancel. Let's go to combat. <laughs> Another 1,000 gift. I think Ben just got to work up to that one. I feel like I feel like a thousand. I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say I feel like a thousand subs is a kind of a slow burn. You don't really want to just throw it all out there at once. My theory is is Badger is secretly an Australian millionaire, and he just never lets on. He just never tells anybody. What are they doing? They're not doing anything. Apparently my scavenging use Rex Age combo is just uh it's too good. It's too good. I don't know what's going on, man. Oh, they're just conceding. Did you have fun in the match? <laughs> what is this, dude? Did you have fun in the match? What is this kind of like? Is this like? Is this, this is like? This reminds me of like uh, the the waiters at your table, right? Oh, Badger, one hundred percent sad face for you. This is my first time seeing this, yes. It's like if the waiter's at your table and the manager comes over and he puts his hand on the waiter's shoulder and he's like, "Is how's the service? Is this man bothering you? And you're like, uh, am I going to get him in trouble if I say yes? No, dude, I've never seen that before. That's hilarious. Did you have fun in this match? I'm sorry, sir. Is your opponent bothering you? Griffinary. I already have four of those. That's hilarious, dude. Okay, so... Guys, we're making some changes. ch ch changes down and face. Gale Swooper. More like... <laughs> I knew it was coming. It was still funny. I still found poop funny. What if we put Questing Beast in the deck? Ah, you can't hit it with Collected Company, I guess. I think Shepard can be sideboard material, guys. I'm, he just, just, just go. Just go. I don't think I like Marwyn. I think she kind of sucks. I think it's a 1-1 one, one for 3 that requires you to put a bunch of stuff out. One intervention in the main in the in the main 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 board. Oh god, I hate it. It's such... What else is good to hit off of collected company? Um, main. <laughs> but why are you like this? How dare you? How dare you? Don't put it out with your boots, Ted! <laughs> Is that a fucking Billy Madison reference? Wow. T -t -t Today, Junior! We got Growth Chamber Guardian. What if we just put, like, Growth Chamber Guardians? Is Growth Chamber Guardian better than Elvish Clan Caller? I don't know. What about Thorn Lieutenant? I actually kind of like Thorn Lieutenant. Don't tell me what to do, Devil Woman. <laughs> wow, these are some these are some Billy Madison bangers, you guys. What about two Elvish Visionaries? Is that too cute? Two Rish cars? What about one Rish car? I think Rish car is better than Marwin. Like he just pumps two two shitty guys, right?
You're not showing me the cards I don't have, are you? I knew it. Alright, what do we got? Thoral Lieutenant might be better than Clan Caller. Maybe. I don't think Wirewood Symbiote's legal in this format. <laughs> oh, good lord. No milk will ever be our milk. So follow. Whenever another creature is battlefield, its controller may draw a card if its power is greater than each other creature's power. Don't put it out with your boots, Ted. Oracle of Moldiah is an elf. That's interesting. Um, that would be amazing if Wirewood Symbiote was legal. <laughs> wow. Now I'm just like, maybe I just put the fourth clan collar in, because like maybe four clan collars are better than one, or a second Rish car. Main pile and the other pile. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want too many Rish cards because they are legendary. Shalai. Change the whole mana base and put in one Shalai. How about you, Sideburns? You want some milk? I'd rather have a beer. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God, Badger. I mean, it's probably not that hard, right? Actually, it's probably rough. We do have Paradise Druids, though. You know that if you run two Rish cards, you're going to hit both off of... Even if I run two Rish cards, I'm still going to hit five lands and one Elvish Mystic, so... How many lands is this? 22? What am I... Oh, I put two Shalai's in. I only need one Shalai. Uh, no, we have not got, uh, Finale of Devastation, because in order to get Hoof with the Finale, you're gonna need 10 mana, and it's, like, if we get 10 mana, we've mostly just won already, so. <laughs> yeah, that's Iot. Also, the Blossoming thing. Alright, let's, oh, we have 16 card sideboard. Oh, we can actually cut one. We can cut the returns in general, actually, because we have Scavenging Ooze and Rex Sage. I'll just put another Rex Sage in. Quad Rex Sage is where you want to be. All right, let's try one more. With our new, new and improved Shalai White Green deck. I mean, we have 12 sources of white, and Shalai is single white, so that's actually fine. Oh, but wait. But wait. But wait! Oh, what? Did they already put me in the game? Okay. Hold on. Oh, God. Search for Autumn. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's a Dryad. Oh, I thought it was an elf. Oh, I got so excited. All right. That's fine. Caracas. I you guys, I'm honest with you. I don't think Badger has any idea what format we're playing right now. Oh yeah. Here we go, we added Shalai, no lands. Mm, yeah, I'll snap that off. Um, I'm gonna ship the Shaman. Fucking, you guys are killing me with these Billy Madison quotes, man. Oh, wow. 
Oh, look at that. I'm going to play this deck. This is my favorite. This is the best deck in the standard of the format. I'm going to play it. It's my favorite deck. Okay. Okay. We're over here brewing. With no... With no help whatsoever. Just coming up with ideas. We're fixing things. Oh, that Colonel Sanders quote is the water boy. I'm B -B Bobby Boucher. I'm the water boy. Oh yeah, you can you, you can take Imperius Perfect. How's it gonna be? <laughs> well, let's say let's say Adam Sandler quotes then. Okay. That's pretty cool. So we can go to Land War Elf. And now we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Sure. Still sure. Look at all these different lands. Thornwood Falls. Watery Grave. Drowned Catacomb. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. So we can activate this. We can activate, activate, activate. Sure, you got my graveyard. Okay. Okay. Let's hit Crater Hoof. Let's hit that Crater Hoof one time. We didn't we didn't hit it. Hmm. Well, I just heard a noise out there and I have no idea what it was, but I don't like it. Um So next turn we can activate both of these. Well, I don't want to swing with Imperius Perfect, because they can just make two like ten tens. Well, we can't activate the other one yet because it's it's got it's got the summon and sickness. But I think we're trading Lana or Elf for for three if they want to do that. I mean, I'll trade one Lana or Elf for three zombies. Oh, that's even better. Interesting. Hope we don't draw wrath. Sure, we can't beat that. Alright, we're going to take the Shalai out. They don't have many things at target. We're going to take probably Fauna Shaman and one 
clan caller. Don't think Ooze is great against them. Yeah, I know these other cards seem good. Biscuit for the biscuit, I guess. Undream Tuna, I appreciate you, buddy. Congrats on the new house. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll take action. I mean, this is nice because next turn we just get to go activate Castle Garenbrig Double Steel Leaf. Is that good? I think so. I mean, this deck doesn't play like Wrath of God, right? Like, it doesn't have white, white sources, so... You got it. Hit my graveyard. There was no grave, but there was no graveyard. Okay. Hope you don't have languish. Is that legal in this format? I don't even know. You know what new house means? I, I don't. I have no idea. Whatever it is, it sounds wild. Cool zombie, bro. So zombies can't block any of these dudes? That's pretty insane. I don't know if this is going to kill them, but like I can't not try. I think they go to one here. Like they have to block here and then they, this guy can't block so they take 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then they play Ugin and kill us. New streamer incoming. Oh my god. So I guess they go to one and then they slam out an Ugin and then we're just dead, right? Okay, if you're gonna slam an Ugin, that's probably not what you do, right? Oh! Living the dream. This is what it feels like when doves cry. I still don't think Scavenging Ooze does anything. Rex Sage doesn't do anything. <laughs> 
Golden years. This is a keeper. Can't they mulligan? Why can't they mulligan? It's rough because, like, Heroic Intervention doesn't even protect from Ugin because, like, it exiles the creatures and it doesn't target them. Drown and so No, okay, well. Um, well, we got five mana. Kind of like Steely Visionary here, but I feel like I'm walking into a... I'm just going to pass. We're only attacking for one. If we attack with this, they might have Disfigure. Because we saw it last game. But I'm definitely going to collect the company here. Cultivado. Probably should have collected company in response because if they have. Actually, they played a land this turn, didn't they? Yeah, this seems fine. Pass. Come on. More than one creature. Wow, this is the pick of the litter. Is it Imperious Steel Leaf? Rush Car pumps two creatures? Yeah, it's got to be Steel Leaf and Imperious. What is it, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? 14, 15, 16, 17 with Arch Druid out. If we can company into two, no, because when we're like losing this guy, so it's 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, it's still 17. There are two. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe. Then they have to have languish. Languish is good. It wipes the board. Blast zone for one does not. Yep. Well, we tried. That was actually great because now we can just collect a company and they have one, two, three, four, five, six different lands. Ugh, that's gross. Yeah, this is going to be pretty bad. Field in any, any non-land. Are we going to get... Nah. Three Steel Leaf Champions are gone. Steel Leaf Champion would be epic. Yep, that's insane. I mean, really, we're just hoping to top deck a uh, questing beast. <laughs> yep, I figured. Yep, there's a questing beast, and uh, used up a lot of our luck in the last collected company, apparently. This guy gets around these tokens. Still have to have Ugin Languish here. I mean, I assume they will, but, you know. Four cards. Or they just kill him. Cool. Guess that'll do, pig. I and mean, questing beast off the top is where you want to be. We've only put one on the bottom as far as I can tell.
Yeah, no blocks. Crescent Breeze one time! That'll do. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frank for manitraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service for Magic Online. If you're looking to play Legacy, Pioneer, Modern, Standard, anything like that, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link down below in the promo code rat train. So be sure to check that out. Chugrin, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. And uh, Badger, 1,000 subs, man. You're a maniac, and I appreciate you. And uh, hopefully our our little elves were satisfactory. I, I kind of just want Questing Beast in the main deck, but it does not go with Collected Company or any of like the elves, but it's still very, very good. And Field of the Dead is still a garbage card, so what can you do? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.